Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here. It's the start of a brand new week and a brand new school year, including one for our little guy Zane. He did start kindergarten today, which is sad. Very I think sad. Linda cried more than he did. Yeah, um, he did probably. make it. If you guys knew Zane's our five year old, so the kindergarten, he did very well, very proud of him, made a friend, was the helper today in class, which we're just so proud of the little guy. I'll try to put a screenshot, maybe of a photo of him if I can remember. Either way, if you're new, this is Linda and Cameron. We play a TV couple online who resells. No, we're actually married <laughs> and we sell online. We sell on platforms like eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark, uh, now Depop as well. We're nothing crazy or special here, but we're going to show you guys what's sold. Uh, these are all items that we found at garage sales, thrift stores. These are real items that we purchased that we flipped online, hopefully for a profit. Every once in a while to make our money back or maybe lose a little bit. But most times it turns out pretty good. And hopefully you can pick up a thing or two uh, to keep an eye out when you're out reselling. So first off, how did we do? What are the numbers? So we have 14 sales across two different platforms today for just around 620. Very good day. 14 sales on the 620. I'll take that every Monday of the year. So let's get into it. How do we do? What's the first item? I already asked that. First item is? First up, we've got these um, M-Lock covers um, for, they're for a gun. A gun. Yeah. Um, and they're the black ones. We have black and tan. These are black and they sold for $10 plus shipping on Mercari. Two bucks. They're from the uh, bin store where they buy like Amazon returns. Uh, we had them on eBay, but they took them down. We had sold, I think, a couple on eBay or maybe one on eBay. I think we've only sold on Mercari. Oh, maybe I didn't even list them because we had something else by the same brand or something that I, yeah, the little sites that yeah. eBay took down. So I listed on Mercari and we've sold three so far. Yeah. Three of them sold for anywhere from 10 or 11 bucks plus the first class shipping. So very good. Then. will make like six bucks, not a whole lot, but we had multiple. To start us off on eBay, we've got this TaylorMade R7 Limited Driver. It's a 10 and a half degree Matrix Ozic X-Con 5.5 Flex like Graphite. You sound like you might know a little bit about golf. If you just read it in the right dialect, you got it. Is it dialect? I think what you mean is just confidence, really. If you read it like you think you know what you're talking about, then kind people... Kind of like you walk into any place think look like you know what you're doing, they people won't are like, sound. oh yeah, if you just talk like you know what you're doing. Unless they know, and they're like, no, that doesn't sound right. But no. the average person would be like, yeah, sure. Anyways, that sold for... $63 shipped. Very good. That's a really good one. Then we got this pair of Caparici men's... Ooh, sounds Italian. Leather I did take a little loafers. Italian, like two semesters in high school. They were offering it just as a trial run, and I was kind of one of the kids to go in there. And I learned a couple things. So, Rivaderci. That's about it. I know a couple more I forgot them. But so then you don't know them. Ciao. Okay. Who doesn't uh, know that one? Your phone I know really tells you that. I don't know much, guys. I was there. I got an A. I remember both times. Anyways, I brought Biscotti in one day for fun. <laughs> then these shoes sold for 32 and a half ships. If you're Italian, I apologize. Next. <laughs> Then we have this set of tiger shark golf clubs. These uh, made from real tiger shark um, teeth. That's no. wait, what teeth? Oh, you, what do you think I said? Put your mind out of the gutter, bro. <laughs> These are a whole set, well, almost whole set. It's like nine clubs. Uh, I think I paid three bucks a piece for them at the thrift store. Um, savers, but I got 20% off so. Mm -hmm. And they sold for, it took a while, but they sold for. 90, almost $95 shipped. Not the greatest brand. I wouldn't buy a bunch of Tiger Shorts, but if you're in a garage sale, so five or 10 bucks for a set, maybe pick them up. We made these some. Purple. Decent, yeah, they look cool. They're a ladies set. Then we got this cool. Well, I guess a guy could use them too, but. In this day and age, yes. No discrimination here. As long as they make you play better or look better while you're playing, that's all that matters. And you pay for them. Next. <laughs> Next up, we got this vintage yard banner. Um, it's another Halloween one. It's a jack-o'-lantern with a witch hat. Um, we've got a bunch of... Uh... And I have duplicates. Most of them I have two of. We sold a pumpkin one the other day for 17 and then this one sold for... 17 Seven. I think I got most of them listed at 20 and I'm taking some offers or sending offers out to watchers. We're getting closer to Halloween. When you're watching this, we're even closer to Halloween. So this stuff should start selling. I think I'm in 20 bucks on all the flags and we sold two for 17 apiece. So we should do fine. Like I said, most of them we have duplicates. Next. Uh, then our repeat dropshipper purchased a Microsoft Xbox 360 Slim bundle. Comes with the cords, a... Uh... Controller. controller and actually a really nice wired cord and that sold for an $80 cable. shipped it's an hdmi kit but it's like one of the, like the sturdier ones oh, the fancy ones. So. anyways that i'm probably in that for hmm. i spent 40 bucks on that um and i came with a controller and i added it and then i sold two other controllers that came with it for 35 so what is that total 
That's like 115 for 40 and I got some games too. So pretty good deal. Then this hat, we uh, talked about the vintage, or the vintage, talked about the offer that came through over the weekend yeah. and we accepted it. Guy didn't pay for it till today. So that is a hood welder, uh, like it's a welder's Yeah, it's got a welder on the hat. front. Yeah. So it took me a second to figure out what he was doing, but he's welding. <laughs> so it's a mesh trucker hat sold for $18 it's shipped. It's like brand new. I don't think it was ever worn. It was a dollar. It's probably one that they gave out at the company. Like, yeah. here's your Christmas bonus. Yay. Then out of the $1,200 tool buy, we've got an O3 Honda Element Factory Manual sold for $84 shipped. Very nice. Then this is a set of Aikido Ultimate Arcade Warriors. Um, it's got the tag team arena and a bunch of the figures. Cameron's getting out of the bag for you guys to see. So this thing's pretty intense. And they're like, they, they come together and then I guess you like, as they hit each other. They can fall apart? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's crazy. I don't know how it works, but yeah, that's how it works. Oh, it lights up on this side. You guys yeah. couldn't see that. Yeah. That's pretty so cool. This was 15 bucks for all this stuff. It was like, she had it split up in two sections, but I bought it all for 15. And I had nothing, no idea what it was. Then I did a quick look up and I saw this figures were selling and mine sold for $70 shipped. So it should do pretty good on that. I was happy with that. I'm, there may have been figures worth money, but I didn't check the look. I just listed it and got it out of here. So yes. Then we got a summer romance on DVD for nine and some change. Two unlikely people meet. It's a Hallmark movie. So they're unlikely people meet. It doesn't look like it's going to work out, but in the end they're going to fall in love and get married and it's going to be perfect. That's weird. They should make more movies like They should. That. I wish Hallmark could actually have like a very good theme where they're just all the same. Just make it so much easier to follow. Yeah. Then, From oh, the speaking of who, Hallmark, there is a Hallmark cruise coming out in November of 2024. We are not going. Anyway. Unless you want to buy me a coffee and support our cruise journey. Then, <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of dead stock or items that were purchased at... Um, like Ross or Marshalls TV or stuff discount. and um, bought a lot of it. And this dress is a spy zone boho flare dress, kind of maxi dress, uh, size large, sold for $30 shipped. That was a dollar. They were all brand new with tag too. So that was a dollar. That one sold for 30. Pretty then good. Then we got this pair of Nike Air Harachis, the men's size eight and a half gray ones, sold for 33 and a half. Pick those up as savers. Then Phantom of the Opera on DVD Ooh. for eight and a half shipped. And last but not least, out of our opera buy, and I get it, Phantom of the Opera, then an opera buy. This is the Alex Hassan Piano Bugatti Step CD, sold for $35 shipped. This Alex Hassan or Hassan, I don't know who he is, but I got a bunch of CDs by him, and there's not many listed. This one wasn't listed, but the ones that are of different ones are selling for like 30 or 40 bucks, either listed or sold. So for whatever reason, not that common. I was the only one with this one. I listed it at, I think, 40. It's a machine, but listed at 45 took a best offer at 35 so and i have two of these so pretty cool i'm gonna list another one so nice that's all we got guys pretty good day we'll get this packed up and we'll see you in a second with what sells tuesday and stay tuned after that for wednesday and for thursday as well sales for tuesday how do we do uh we did okay uh we had uh nine sales on our main platform ebay for just under 330 so it's a little bit lower than our goal of 400 but it was even slower for most of the day so i'm glad some stuff came through here at the end we were sitting at like 100 bucks at like 5 p.m so. so we'll say not okay we did fine no we did we did good in I'm our house fine that. means not good so <laughs> means yeah you don't really want to say that it's bad but it's not good so it's not good <laughs> anyways let's get into it first item first up we got pop star never stop never stopping yep never stop. never stop never, never stopping stop. mm -hmm. i'm never stopping i'm never going to stop that next okay that makes more sense to me and that sold for eight and some change out of the dvd 200 buy then we got this hp ink 62 xl tricolor two-piece sealed seal. sold for 35 dollars shipped it came in a bundle i think for 20 bucks with some other stuff so that was already a good deal then out of the opera buy we've got this thousand record covers hardcover book sold for 13 and some change mm -hmm. That's Tori in the background. Sorry for the noise. She's not in bed yet. She took a nap too late. Yeah. Then we got this Callaway Razor Fit nine and a half degree driver. It's an Ald Aldilla. Mm -hmm. That's the shaft. Oh, an Aldilla shaft. Aldilla ripped shaft. Yep. And that did sell for 59 and a half shipped. There's a lot of golf clothes like I told Linda yesterday. So yeah. it's been good. Which is weird because it is kind of like towards the end of the summer. So I would think that people would be kind of over it, but maybe it's everybody who's still hot enough out there. People want to play. Yeah, golf. either that or it's all the kids that graduated who are like, 
Well, what do I do with my life now? I don't know. Got to take up golf. I do know. We still sell some golf in the winter. I, we still sell some clubs. People are buying mm -hmm. them for probably Christmas and gifts. And some people, like in California where we are, people still play golf during the winter. And the same in Florida. So yeah. it just does a little bit better. More of it sells during the summer. More target audience, I think, is shopping. Next. And we got one of these Rainbow Rainmates. These sell these all the time. Tested and working. It is scratched all, all the time, these insides, because uh, most people use their regular tap water and it creates a lot of hard water stains on it so a lot of people try to scrub it out and it don't work so good on plastic yeah. so um that did sell for fifty dollars ship it was five bucks so um normally we can get about 60 if it's a cleaner one where it's not covered in the scratches or the hard water stuff you know it's a real pain to get it off the plastic it, like really when people use it a lot it gets really not good yeah so we clean it the best we can but the manual can... literally says purified water yeah. only if but... we can get one where that's nice and clean and was used properly usually i can get about 60 shipped for it so then we got out of the opera by life is a banquet the memoir of rosalind russell mm -hmm, and yes. that sold for 13 dollars shipped very good two then opera books lady in the tramp uh blue race not sealed sealed, not sealed. oh sealed sold for nine and some change to a repeat buyer Yes, very nice. Then we have this uh, new in-box Apple Airport Express Wi-Fi router. Sold for $70 shipped out of the Opera Buy as well. That was another Apple thing. It was in a... No, I think I paid separately. For, I think I paid 20 for this. And then sold how much? 70 Yeah, that was a good deal. Then last but not least, this Columbia mesh line jacket. Sold for $48 shipped. It's a size large, uh, technically vintage with the hood. Yeah, Columbia's not like the greatest selling brand for us. It's one that I've had for a while. I got an offer of 48 and took it. It is hot. We gotta get this packed up. So we'll see you guys in a second with what sells on Wednesday and stay tuned until the end because you will oh, see the profit straight. breakdown yesterday. Sales for Wednesday. Wednesday. How did we do? We had 10 sales on our main platform eBay for just uh, over 460. Really good day. Um, definitely a couple of cool items here. So let's get into it. Did we sell anything else last night? I don't think so. Uh, the Bible. Oh, we did. Yes, <laughs> a big we sold one. a seventy dollar Bible, a small one too. Yeah, it was a small Bible um, with Lockman the little, was the, the little, little had like a little flap. To, the to the button it. was actually broken. Yeah, on it, but, but it, it still little, sold for seventy dollars. It's like a nineteen seventies or eighties, I think, Lockman Bible. It was tiny. So look, you'll see on the screen. Got that from Savers for three bucks. I've made quite a bit of money from Savers in their Bible section. So. We love Savers Bible section. Uh, next, let's go into eBay for today. First up, we got Outlaw Star, the complete collection, sold for $14, sh $15 shipped. It's one of our anime ones. One uh, it doesn't say it's from camp. No, so. I bought it for a dollar at a garage sale this past weekend, and it's all for 15 We love our anime. Then, the Opera Buy, we've got Tony Rennis, the great original hits two CD set, sold for 26 and some change on an offer to buyers. To watchers. Nice. Then the DVD 800 buy got us Agatha Christie's Poroy Series 13, sold for 16 and a half shipped. Happy to see that one. Then go. Cameron put up an auction for Nintendo games. These are NES games. That's a lot of baseball, Top Gun, sports games, random yeah, golf, golf games, bowling, bowling. So Tetris. It's all all the stuff you don't sell because it's not worth that much. Most of them are common, <laughs> or if they are any decent ones, they have like a lot of wear to them. They have bad labels things like that these are all ones i've kind of stockpiled for years of stuff that i haven't been able to sell i just kind of when i buy a big bundle of nintendo stuff this just goes into the you know junk pile of whatever it is so i had to list them at auction just to see how it went and they sold for 152 dollars and 50 cents probably going to a reseller who's going to sell them out piece them out one by one so yep. we got to get them cleaned up a little bit but we'll get them shipped out of here next and camp 2023 got us this callaway razor 5 hybrid Sold for fifty dollars shipped. We bought we bought four clubs uh, in June on vacation. It's now August. I don't know when you're watching this, but it's August, so it's been a couple months. Um, and it was the end of June when we bought them, and we sold three or four already. So there's only one iron left. So that's been pretty good. And all of them have sold for recently. at least fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah, we sold a lot of clubs. It's been very good. We we find some really good clubs at the one well, thrift store that we go to. Yeah, one Cameron always one. pulls clubs out of there. <laughs> yeah, well, I found a Nike driver the one the last time, and then I found I forgot what else I found, but I know a Nike driver we sold for a hundred last year that we had gotten, so I've done pretty well there. Like the clubs. Yep. Then we've got this antique Santa Claus head cookie jar from the 1950s. It's vintage. It's large. It's ceramic, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to pack. And that did sell for seventy dollars. It was ten bucks though. It has some crazing on it and stuff from I guess the being used or whatever it's not perfect you know 
paint or whatever on it, but it does look pretty nice. It's cool vintage look sold for 70 bucks on the best offer. It's going to North Carolina though, so probably will cost us like 15 to 20 to ship it and we'll probably make 25 on it when it's all done. So we did ship out, hmm, what was it in this video? What did we ship out the other day that I was worried about? Oh, it was the suitcase. That was from the weekend. Never mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. We only yeah. made like 20 bucks. 25 bucks. Spent 20, made 25. But it was still cool and worth picking up. Next. Then we got The Real Book of Real Estate by Robert Kiyosaki. Sold for 15 and some change. I think he does Rich Dad, Poor Dad or whatever it is. I think he makes that series. Yeah. You mean because it's the number one bestseller, Rich oh, yeah. Dad, Poor Dad at the yeah. top? Yeah, I didn't see that there, but yeah. Which is also like a... Is that the game cash flow? Does he do that too? Yeah, I think so. Next. Then we got a, K a tin from the 1900s. This is a vintage x lax Full of fig flavor. Real x lax meal that you can use to help. Just kidding. Empty. Uh, that's out of Brooklyn, New York. And that sold for 11 and some ching. Going to an x lax collector. I hope not. Then at our YouTube for you, YouTube, you turn for Christ thrift store. Cameron picked up this Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a camo polo with uh, greens and oranges in it, and that sold for sixty dollars shipped. And it is it, a size extra large. I think it was ten. It's a newer one too because it's got a little QR code in there. So classic fit. I had a lot of interest in Canada from this and different places. They wanted it shipped like overnight and stuff, but sold full price. I think I spent ten on it. You don't see much camo with orange in it. That's, That's like because it's hard happen. to find. <laughs> Dad joke. Anyways, next. Next up from Sex Thrift mm -hmm. Avenue, Cameron loves High School Musical, and so he saw this and went. I've never ah! seen it, so I've never seen the movie. Linda actually loves. High I School love Musical. High School Musical. I even had this adorable little uh, personal water filler cup thingy. You know, like you know, you press the button and it pours water. It was High School Musical theme. Right. It was adorable. i never seen it, but we found these remotes at the thrift store the other day. I think they were 50 cents each. We got this one. We have a Hannah Montana one, and there was a Barbie or like a princess one or whatever. And um, the princess one doesn't work, but the uh, Hannah Montana and High School Musical did, and this one sold for? $35 And shipped. there were no comps really there. You, I found the TV unit that it goes with or whatever, but I listed this kind of whatever I wanted, and then it sold, so... Yeah, you do have to fix the screw in the back. I have to put a different one, and this one's a little bit more um, worn out than I would like. So I'll put a different one in that works. So that's it. That's all we got. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. We'll see you in a second with What Sells Thursday.